Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I've got a really exciting video for you. Obviously I'm sat on the floor, bit of a change, bit different, you know, I thought I'd shake things up. Um, the reason why I'm sat on the floor is because I need a bit more space. Uh, because I have this amazing um, Barbie musical fantasy castle. I am so, so excited. Before I get to opening this, let me just first of all say, if you are an adult doll collector like me, um, or a gift giver, please don't forget to check me out on Instagram and subscribe to my channel for lots of like fun, doll-related videos and content, yada yada yada. Um, I have never owned any kind of like Barbie dream house or Barbie castle in my life. Um, so this is really exciting. I've always wanted one. I don't have a lot of space in my room. <laughs> That's one of the main reasons. Um, and also I wanted to own a vintage one like this. Can I just say that people always get angry at me in the comments for, um, for saying things are vintage that are from like the noughties and nineties. Um, I don't really know how else to describe them. They are vintage to me. I mean, they're, they're, they're old. They're old. They're pretty old. Like, this is like 20 years old. But, uh, but yeah, so I don't know, I mean, vintage is the word I would use. Just maybe you'd be happy if I just called it old. Yeah, I wanted a vintage Barbie dream house, um, because they're just nicer, they're, they're better made. The modern day ones are also really expensive and just not as nice. They're fine, they're okay. I don't really like the colour schemes as much in the modern ones, um, but they cost like £200. Um, this one I was so lucky to find, brand new, in box for only 60 quid. Only 60 pounds. And that's including the postage. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to open her. I'm gonna give you guys a little guided tour, um, a little MTV Cribs style guided tour of Barbie's amazing dream house. Um, this is from, I'll give you a really quick view of the box. The box isn't really that exciting, and also it shows you a lot of the castle, and I want the castle to be a surprise. But yeah, you know, it's got the Barbie at Swan Lake logo down here. I love the Barbie of Swan Lake movie. It's one of my favorite Barbie movies. All the dolls are in there. Uh, what year did this film come out? I'm, I'm gonna guess 2003, but I can't remember. So yeah, like here it says, um, coming to video, video, video. <laughs> And DVD, Fall 2003, star, uh, Barbie stars in her latest movie. And there's a picture of the DVD. Um, there's a picture of the Swan Lake doll, which I have. Um, there's a picture of this plush soft toy unicorn. This my size Barbie. <laughs> um, which I've always found those a little bit creepy and a little bit bulky. I don't really like them. A picture of the horse and carriage, which I really want to get to like complete the collection. Um, and the styling head is down here. Musical staircase, which moves up and down, crazy. Real lights and music. I even have, I even have batteries so I can make, see if this still works. Um, two bedrooms. Bluebirds reveal surprises in seven secret hidden places. Oh my goodness. Basically here there's like a brief summary of the film. I cannot be bothered to read that. So there we have it. Um, I've shown you the box. Now I'm gonna open this castle uh, and give you guys a closer look. Oh my goodness. Oh my, wow. This is so exciting, okay. It doesn't even look like there's that much construction. Like I thought there would be lots of assembly involved. Oh my wow, wow. Oh my god, can I just say, young Joey, little, little Joey, when I was a kid, I would have absolutely died for this castle. I mean, I'm still dying for this castle. Does this even work? Oh my goodness. Wow, there's just so, there's so much of it. Okay, I found the instructions. I always, I always like don't read the instructions, but today I am gonna read the instructions because I just know I don't wanna mess this up. Um, wow, okay. And look how many stickers I have to stick on. Oh my God, this is gonna take years. They're so cool. Oh, I love this like old Barbie like aesthetic. You know what I mean? It's so, it's so like, nostalgic to me. The doves and the flowers and the sparkles. Oh my goodness, these, instruc these instructions are so confusing. So many numbers. 
This is gonna take me ages. I'm gonna finish setting this up and then I will give you guys the guided tour. This is gonna take me like an hour. <laughs> okay, doll fans, so I have put together the um, Barbie musical Swan Lake Castle. The names are always so confusing. Um, but anyway, this putting this together took me nearly an hour. In fact, I think it took me over an hour. Um, it was absolute mayhem. Um, there was so many stickers, so many stickers to stick on, um, so many bits to put together. But now, looking at it in all its glory, it's really exciting. It reminds me of the Disneyland castle at Disneyland Paris. Specifically the one at Disneyland Paris. It has a lot of, um, uh, like these turrets and stuff look very similar to that castle. And I love that because I love Disneyland Paris. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Now I have my two um, Swan Lake dolls. I have Barbie here um, and Teresa. And together we are going to give you a tour of the castle. Okay, so doll fans, here is the castle up close. Here are the two dolls. Um, they're so cute, I absolutely love these dolls. This was such a great time to be a Barbie collector. Um, she, this doll actually has, uh, I think she lights up. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, no it doesn't work. Um, but she has wings that pop up as well. When you click here, bling! Then she has wings. I'm gonna keep those down for the time being. Um, yes. So, uh, first things first, basically there are loads of hidden surprises um, in this castle. All the hidden surprises are clearly marked with doves, these beautiful doves. And this one, this actually also turns into a ring, this door handle. See? It can be a ring for you. Really clever. So many little details in this castle. But yeah, using the dove you can turn it and then you can open the front door which is really cool. And I've obviously stuck all the stickers on the outside. Now, if I open the castle, there's also a little lock here. Now, here is the castle in all its glory. I've obviously set up everything, and wow, I absolutely love it. The color scheme is so cute. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little look around. Here is Barbie stood on the stairs. I feel like she needs to be like, hey MTV, welcome to my cribs. Let me show you around. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so here's the front door. And then I've stuck all these little stickers. There's a little seating area here, really cute. I can't get over how big this castle is. It's just, there's so much room and space. Um, here is the little dining room table. And here we come to our first surprise. If you twist the, is that how it works? I can't remember. If you twist the cake and take it off, there is a present on the inside. Cute little present. I guess you can probably put something inside there if you so wish. Uh, and there's little plates. Um, then if we come down here, there's a little kind of throne room area. Uh, and a bed appears. Oh, if I can get it to come down. And this bed appears here. This is obviously, I think, a bed for Teresa. And there's this little magic chest, which is really cool. Again, with a um, dove on it. Oh, if I can open it. Uh, then there is a secret compartment inside the chest as well. If you turn it down there, then you can't get into it. And then if you turn it there, you can get into it. You can get into the secret compartment. Um, which is really cool. Such a cool idea. Then if we come down here, uh, here is the magic harp. Super cool. And if you twist the dove, It actually plays music, <laughs> which is really cool. I really want to know how much this castle originally retailed for, um, because it just comes with so much stuff. It's so full. Uh, here is Ken, obviously sat on the throne. I've stuck loads of stickers onto the mantelpiece, onto the fireplace. Um, and then down here we have a secret jewellery box. If you turn the bird, it opens. And there's some jewellery in there, I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, my The autofocus on my camera is broken, which is really frustrating. Here is the bathroom. Again, there are loads of stickers everywhere. I love this beautiful bathtub, it's insane, with the swans on it. And then there is a dove over here, another one. If you twist it, 
you can get inside there and there are some toiletries and stuff like that, some perfume. And then if you, there's a, there should be a dove here, but it's not there at the moment. Um, if you open here, oh, there's meant to be a secret compartment, see? So when you first open it, you can't see. And then when you open it again, the secret compartment is there. And that has um, a hairbrush, a crown, um, this mirror, so much amazing stuff. I love this image of Barbie here in the mirror as well. It's just so 90s. Then over here we have Teresa on her little stand. This is her like dancing stand. Um, and if you turn this little part here, she spins around. Isn't that beautiful, beautiful dancing from Teresa? Doing all the latest dance moves she's learnt on TikTok. And then if we remove Teresa, um, here is a big gorgeous mirror with the Barbie emblem on the top. Uh, and if we pull it down, it reveals Barbie's amazing bed. Uh, I love these curtains coming down, really cute. The window looks absolutely stunning. And she even has this little cushion which is really soft. Really cute little cushion. It's a shame she doesn't have any bedding, like she doesn't have a blanket or anything, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> um, then over here, I'm not really sure what you're meant to put here, but this is the cage where the birds are meant to live when they're not doing their secret surprise. See, I've obviously got one of the birds in there. Um, really cute, they all get kept in this cage. I'm not really sure what this is meant to be. I think it's like a, I think it's like a water basin or something. Um, so Barbie can wash her hands in the middle of the night, or I, I don't really know what that's meant to be. Is this meant to go up here? I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments if you know what this is meant to be. Oh, I've broken it now. Oh, there we go. Um, and then she has this little balcony here as well. Super cute. Um, and there's little flowers by the side. Love that. The castle also came with a whole bunch of little mini accessories. Um, we have the little scepter, uh, a flute, um, a little book. She even comes with spare shoes, which I love. Um, she's, there's little cups and loads of tiny little cutlery, which I'm gonna keep in the bag because I just know I'll lose these if I take them out. <laughs> and now for the most exciting part of all, um, Barbie can climb the stairs. And when she climbs the stairs, um, the tower on her castle lights up, which is pretty cool. Um, I really hope this works. So, doll fans, that is my full tour, my full unboxing of this incredible Barbie musical, musical, what's it called? Barbie musical castle, fantasy musical castle, um, so crazy the name. Um, I really hope you enjoyed my unboxing. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of the video. Please let me know if you had any Barbie dream houses growing up or now if you're an adult collector like me. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Check me out on Instagram so you can see more of my collection. And I will see you real soon, doll fans. Bye!